Note, increases in the resource usage of svcchost.exe network service could be the result of ongoing updates. To be sure, press Windows plus I to open Settings, hit Update and Security, then determine whether an update is in progress. If you see You're Up to Date in Windows Updates, proceed to hit Check for Updates for good measure. Regardless, if Windows is undergoing updates, you should allow the process to go all the way. If there is no update, feel free to resort to the following solutions. Run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. Step 1. Press Windows plus I to open Settings. Step 2. Click Update and Security, then pick Troubleshoot. Step 3. Select Additional Troubleshooters, choose Windows Update, and hit Run the Troubleshooter. Step 4. Let the troubleshooter run from start to finish, and if it manages to identify the cause, hit Apply This Fix. Step 5. Restart your computer. Scan for malware. Step 1. Press Windows plus I to open Settings, choose Update and Security, and select Virus and Threat Protection in Windows Security. Step 2. Click Scan Options, pick Full Scan, and hit Scan Now. Step 3. The moment the scan completes, restart your computer and determine whether the issue persists. Update Driver. Step 1. Go to Search Bar, type devmgmt.msc and press Enter to open Device Manager. Step 2. Expand Network Adapters, right-click your adapter, and pick Update Driver. Step 3. Follow on-screen instructions. Step 4. After the update finishes, restart your computer and see how things turn out. Note, you recently updated the driver of your network adapter. In that case, you may want to roll back the driver to the previous version. Step 1. Go to search bar, type devemgmt.msc, and press Enter to open Device Manager. Step 2. Expand Network Adapters. Right-click your adapter and pick Properties. Step 3. Go to the Driver tab, hit Rollback Driver, and follow on-screen instructions. Step 4. Restart your computer. Disable Bits and Wuauserve. Step 1. Go to Search Bar, type Services, and press Enter. Step 2. In Services. Locate Background Intelligent Transfer Service and Windows Update Service. Right-click each of them, then pick Properties. Under Service Status, hit Stop. Also, you should change the startup type of both services to Disabled. You then need to select Apply and choose OK to save the changes. Step 3. Restart your computer.